Whatever happened to agree to disagree? Third year Georgetown University law student Sandra Fluke has become the face of the campaign for access to birth control coverage for women. Without insurance coverage, contraception can cost as much as $3,000 during law school. Both sides have been locked in a weeks-long battle over mandated birth control coverage. But on his radio show, Limbaugh took a personal shot at Fluke to make his point. Essentially says that she must be paid to have sex. What does that make her? It makes her a slut, right? And he didn't stop there. Thursday, he said, if taxpayers have to foot the bill, then... Now, we want something in return, Ms. Fluke. And that would be the videos of all this sex posted online so we can see. That got Limbaugh's critics fired up. As an anchor for WFLD somewhat tentatively puts it. Wow, you can imagine that that um, sparked a lot of um, reaction and not very and, not, and negative, as you can imagine. Call that an understatement. In a piece for the Washington Post, Jamila Bay calls Limbaugh's words hate speech. What Limbaugh did and does frequently is slut shaming, and it's no less hateful and derogatory than racial slurs. Democrats are calling on leaders of the GOP to condemn Limbaugh's comments, but on MSNBC, a political science professor says she hopes they don't, so voters can see what the party is actually about. And 26% of voters in the election in 2008 were single women. So they decided the outcome of the election, and they may well do it again if Republicans keep promoting this hateful dialogue. But Limbaugh's point about mandating coverage is one that continues to have support within the GOP. As Mona Charon writes for the Conservative National Review, Democrats come along and force insurance companies to provide for free something that 95% of people have been purchasing. And when we object, they scream that we want to send women back. It's ludicrous and dishonest and manipulative. House Speaker John Boehner did condemn the comments, calling them inappropriate. And Politico reports Friday, President Obama called Fluke himself to thank her for speaking out. Out. This is by no means Limbaugh's first brush with controversy. This time, the Atlantic Wire reports advertisers are distancing themselves from the war of words. Still, others note Limbaugh's brand of runaway rhetoric can't do much to help the cause. The Christian Science Monitor's Peter Greer asks, has he gone too far this time? In pouring gasoline on a subject that was already a propane fire, he may have drawn attention to himself, but it's possible he's singeing Republicans who are standing close to the action. Fluke herself has responded to Limbaugh's comments, calling them outside the the bounds of civil discourse. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman. Multiple sources, the real story.